A lot of the uh, themes um, and concerns that ought to inform a conservative immigration policy have already been discussed here. Uh, matters having to do with economics and uh, morality uh, and politics. Um, so I figured what I would do is talk a little bit about uh, an issue that I think tends to get a little underemphasized in these conversations about immigration, and that is assimilation. Uh, people mean different things when they use that word. Uh, what I mean in saying that our immigration and post-immigration policies ought to be oriented toward assimilation is simply that we should want newcomers to the United States to have a good shot at becoming successful Americans who can support themselves rather than rely on taxpayers, who can and do fully participate in local, state, and national political deliberations, fully participate in our culture, and who see, the, see themselves and are seen by others as Americans. These are the things we want. These are the things we should take steps to achieve. Uh, assimilation shouldn't, in my view, mean the elimination of uh, what's distinctive about immigrant mm -hmm. cultures. The assimilation I have in mind is compatible with immigrants changing and ideally enriching the national culture. The important thing is that newcomers and native-born Americans alike have a shared sense of belonging, consider their interests to be common interests rather than antagonistic ones, and be able to communicate with one another. An immigration policy that takes assimilation as one of its watchwords would, I think, look different in important respects, both from what we currently have and from some of the proposals that we often hear about. Uh, I think pretty obviously if assimilation is the goal, then we want to make as much of our immigrant inflow to be legal rather than illegal, uh, illegality uh, and the, on the part of a large population posing, I would think, a pretty obvious challenge um, to that goal. Uh, I think it also stands to reason that we should be mindful of the fact that it's easier to assimilate in, a, in an immigrant population the more diverse its character uh, and the less it's dominated by immigrants from one particular place uh, and also that it's easier the smaller that inflow is. Uh, and it's also, I think, stands to reason that we can successfully absorb more immigrants the more care we take to equip new immigrants with the skills they need to make it in the U.S. Uh, for example, as, uh, as Richard mentioned, by making sure that they and their children receive effective English, English language instruction.